here and you can see there's a gap here between it looks like 145 and probably where it's trading at 122 right now if we go up here and we change to that was the weekly if we change to our four hour let's run the algorithm here um, you can see that we are still outside of a buy range we just had the sell right before earnings but it looks like it might trade based on this volume shelf here there might be a magnet up here to about the 146 level to fill that gap that may be an opportunity depot and this one looks to be pretty good this is a daily chart and if you look over here the last time it traded under the 200 day you've got a significant move up right around earnings well what do we have today we have a significant downturn on this down to it looks like about 314 it's trading under the 200 day well under like it was here is this going to pop again kind of like we saw the 50 day pop back up so will we say the 50 day see the 50 day come back down we've got a little gap here that was filled on the way down will it refill it on the way up uh, remains to be seen but this looks like a good opportunity to me Lowe's reports a uh, pre-market tomorrow so I think that's what kind of started to bring this one up after earnings last time is we saw a kind of a bottoming out I think this is a good opportunity I might take this one a few weeks ago we had Devon Energy uh, as our earnings play you'll see right now here there's a volume a volume shelf kind of forming between 51 and 52 it's currently trading at almost 53 we're seeing a rebound here in my mind I think you're going all the way to 54 or 55 by the end of the day because this drop in energy makes no sense you've got a dividend yield at 7.3 percent that's coming up on the 11th I don't think you're bad in buying this at 51 52 considering the the 52 week low is 18 but that was last year you're just getting it 52 week high is 58 that just came about today today it was at 58 it dropped all the way down to 52 do I think you're getting back to 58 I think at some point you know in the near future you're getting back to 58 this is a good one I'd be in Palo Alto Networks looks like a maybe they were reporting earnings today after the bell um, and it looks like it's still in an upward trajectory it's got a death cross here it's kind of on its down move but I do believe that they may have some good earnings if we go to a daily chart here you can kind of see where there's that gap that does scare me but it looks like it's using this 200 day to continue going forward um, again it's a it's a positive trajectory there looks like it's consolidated there's some good volume shelf up here that should keep it in the 480 I've got an open order at 477 on this one 